what is going on you lot welcome to the video it is tuesday it's 5 30 in the morning i'm currently waiting to be picked up by josh go to work here's reggie this is my cockapoo reggie say hi say hi reg say hi <laughs> he's currently got a broken foot and he's a little meals prep for the day so you've got snack pot carrot sticks tuna salads and chicken breast salad a kiwi i'll make a shake The moon is still out, it's still pitch black. Cardio finished, currently weighing in at 78 kilograms. Now it's time to find my maintenance calories, something to stay here, something to make sure I'm not gonna get too weak during treatment. All right, Josh, you got a challenge? Right. You got a set, you got a, I, I'm not editing this whole clip, right? So you got, an, you got to be filtered. <laughs> Doesn't even know what to say. Jolly oh. <laughs> so we finished work, we are going to flex appeal and tag tun. You need to get you need to get ready for this. Alright. Um, oh, such a Level pop. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three quick maths. Everyday man on a rope with their toes. Like my toes, like my toes. You must suck a good song. If she ain't on it, I post. Look at your nose. Check your nose, man. You don't know. Nose long. What is going on? Panda eyes, my bad, because I've just got out of the shower. And hat on my head because I've got wet hair. And it's the best way to straighten my hair. I put a hat on. Anyway, so a topic I wanted to cover is... People keep mentioning things about the programme, so people keep mentioning things uh, that is that has been sitting on my mind a bit and, you know, the programme went really well, people really enjoyed it, people found it a really big insight. But one thing they keep saying is that I don't feel like they really told the full story of my story. Now, I've got about three or four hundred new subscribers on my channel recently and I want to I want to get things clear I want to kind of you know make sure that everyone knows what you know what the full story is I mean obviously you can look back at my videos but if you don't have time to do that then I'm going to round it up here so I've been fighting cancer for seven years it started in my calf it spread to my lymph nodes in my right groin liver on my lung to my brain hip and it spread to my chest I don't know how many times that is but that's quite a few all my lymph nodes removed in my right groin I've had three lots of treatment i've had been on this current treatment for two years to fight this brain tumor and it's managed to stabilize the brain tumor i had radiotherapy for my left hip this is all in a big kind of splurge of everything that's been going on but i wanted people to know that you know it's impossible to tell a full story of what's been going on in an hour let alone three people I'd love people to feel like they can ask me if they've if you've got any questions then I want you to ask me on my vlogs you know um, email me emily pt at hotmail.co.uk whether it's health related work related life related relationship related sexuality related I don't know I'm trying to think of all this stuff um, whatever it is you can ask it okay so you want you to e email me comment down below any questions and i'll try and rope aisha in to do a little question uh, question and answer video for the weekend oh. okay so i'm in the fencing cell at my work because i was going to go in a room but it's been used. As I said yesterday, I want to give you new subscribers a little bit more information on what's going on and kind of, you know, just have a real good sense of my journey so far. So I had a question from a girl on Instagram. She said, would you be able to do a video um, explaining the signs and symptoms of how you found and, and how you found your cancer, basically? How I found it originally, where it was, what I looked out for. So let me go right back to the beginning. So I was 17, 18 years old and um, uh, I'm quite moly, I, you know, probably not mo not really, really moly, but quite moly, got a few moles here and there. And um, I was due to go away to Zanti with my sister and her friends, and was just going to the gym, you know, wherever, living the life. I was in sixth form at the time, and I had this mole on my calf. It was here, I've got a scar just there where it was, and it, it was itchy. So I left it, didn't even think anything of it, um, and it was maybe a few months later, um, it, it started to grow. So if this, say this was my skin, it started to go higher and higher and higher. 
I mean, it was still only tiny. It was still only really small, probably like the size of a Smartie, and it was coming off. And I remember, I remember realizing it was growing. So I was like, right, okay, I'm sure that's growing. Okay, left it a bit longer. Um, at the time, I did not know any of the symptoms for skin cancer. I didn't, I wasn't aware of what to look out for and whatnot. Um, and then I remember taking the dogs out for a walk. Um, this is even pre-Reggie. How mad is that? I, I, I remember something stinging. So I looked down at the back of my leg, and there's blood streaming from this mouth, streaming. So I thought, God, I must have caught that with a with a thorn or something. It's quite got quite a big, you know. I must have caught that with a thorn. God, I better patch it up. Go home, patch it up, whatever. <sighs> Left it, and then after that, it changed colour. So it, yeah, it started to go purpley. I remember red and purple that's all I remember seeing is black red and purple all different colors and that's when I said to my mum I said mum this mole is dodgy my mum had a look at it I said oh yeah you know it looks looks like it's scabbed a bit so she said she referred me to the doctors but this that week I was going away to Zanti so I went to the doctors and um, my local GP said I think it's a skin lesion I think it's just you know just a funny mole that needs removing that you keep catching while you're in Zanti plaster it up so cover it up just in case so my, my GP is amazing by the way he's really good so I covered it up went to Zanti plaster obviously kept falling off we had a really good time and whatnot so it just kept falling off and then um, it was irritating me more and more and more while I was in Zanti I covered it up as much as I could, put loads of sun cream on, always put loads of sun cream on. Came back and I was referred to get it removed at Kent, Kent and Canterbury. Had them all removed. A week after that, I then went back to get my results of what it was as it was sent to the lab and it came back as skin cancer. At the time, it was only quite a shallow skin cancer. So it was only about, it was only about down to there, but that was enough to have another operation, to have a bigger surface area removed. And um, at that point, I did some more research on what to look out for for skin cancer. And obviously, that is the beginning. That is how my cancer started. I, I then had two years clear after that. And I might do another video on what happened after that. So when you are looking out for skin cancer, look out for moles that are growing, moles that are funny shaped. So I remember mine was, looked like three small dots all together that was raising. Uh, Colour, irritation, itchiness. Um, and also look out for not just moles, look out for funny patches of skin, okay? So it can, can a little bit, look a bit like a birthmark, and that can also turn into cancer as well. Uh, the doctor might even look at it and just say, we're going to remove it just in case. Um, if you've got any suspicions about any moles, and especially if you've been a sun worshipper over the years, you sunbeds, please make sure you go and check them out, because that's how I found mine. So I hope you found that bit, bit more of an insight into how it initially started. I was only 17, I was so, so naive and, you know, didn't even think that I could have cancer at that age and bam, it come back as cancer. Seven years later, it's like all over. So, you know, please just go to the doctors, man. Just go. I hope that answers your question, Stacey. Thank you for asking it me. It gave me um, a good prompt to start on this kind of uh, question asking thing. I want to make sure everyone knows, you know, how it started, where I'm at, how I'm feeling, and everything like that. <sighs> this Friday I've got treatment. Okay, so this is gonna go up tonight. Hopefully I'm gonna edit it up. But I'll see you on my next load of treatment, which I've had a six week break and I feel really good. So I'm dreading it. I'm really fucking dreading it. See you in the next one. Love you all. Peace. Can we eat some Captain Crunch?